him. Guess what? It's Sunday, it's just gone nine o'clock-ish. And it's time for my weekly news roundup of the week, uh, 24th of the 3rd, uh, 2024. And uh, yeah, we are gonna be looking at the week's news now. I must admit this week's news has probably been worse than normal and that's saying something because it's news is never good as it's very rare you get a lot of good news uh, coming in anywhere and uh, yeah this this uh, this week has well it's seen continued uh, amounts of crap news everything seems to be crap and everyone's it's just horrible but we're going to cover it the best way we can and that is where we can, I'm going to put some light relief into it. Don't forget, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, etc., etc., etc. And um, evening tech. Sorry, I missed you last weekend. Me and Rollo and Kelly are watching tonight, mate. So Rollo, 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 Rollo. What are you doing, Rollo? Uh, Kelly, 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 Kelly. Oh no, Kelly's probably a human. Hi, Kelly, uh, and obviously Steve as well. So yeah, we are. Um, why am I so badly out of focus? I mean, it's not a bad thing with my wrinkles, but you know. I don't know why Why we are out, so far out of focus, mate. There's a way of doing, dealing with it, which is... Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Oh, just had a notification, I'm online. <laughs> Thanks, didn't realise. If I shine this directly into the, uh, the thing. Where is it? There it is. Shine that directly into it, like that, and it goes, ah! and then I go like that. It refocuses eventually. Oh, what's good on here? There we go. So, hi, <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop it and then start it again. And there you go, uh, wrinkles, blackheads, scars, and everything else back in full horrendousness. Um, so you're, you're welcome. <laughs> it's, oh, I wouldn't mind, but the news I've got to cover straight away is quite serious and quite um, depressing in, in many levels. Um, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. So what I do first is I go to the main news of the week, and then I look at the week's news as broadcast in the UK. Uh, and then I look at the world news, including some UK stuff this week. Uh, and then uh, we have a look at stuff that makes you go, which is the uh, the uh, lighter news, shall we say. And then at the end, we do the breaking news. So if you want to join in the chat, if you agree with me, disagree with me, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just feel free to join in the chat and have a chat. Have a chat, because that's what it's all about. We don't talk about these things. Uh, Kelly says, have you got the uh, Barbie DVD and games and more? Um, I don't know what games and more is, to be fair. I know, I know what games and more is. Uh, but no, we did have it on Blu-ray. Uh, we've had one copy and it sold. I know, shocking. Kelly, I hope you had a good week. Uh, Rollo is ready watching with me and Stephen. All right, so Kelly's on as well. So I'm expecting Rollo to come on now and, and type some stuff. My hair is going, isn't it? Well, never mind. I know it's 60, so I suppose I've done all right. Anyway, shall we get on? Shall we get cracking? Cracking tools, scram it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Right then. So we're going to go on to the, the world news. Um, and this is news that's been... No, we're not. We're going to go on the week's news. Oh, everything's... Oh, we're going to go on the main news. Everything's in the wrong place. Uh, so the main news this week. Uh, I normally choose... Uh, two items of news that have kind of progressed during the week uh, and um, this week is no different uh, there are two news stories neither of them uh, you can actually draw any light from at all unfortunately uh, the first one is uh, this one which is the uh, photo uh, of uh, the princess of wales and her three children all laughing very loudly or looking like they're laughing very loudly at the same time, which of course is impossible, and I said this when the photograph first came out. Um, so it's, I don't know, 
it was a picture that had been modified. Hello, Angela. Posing as roller, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Um, yeah, this picture was posted uh, for Mother's Day, which was two weeks ago now. Or was it a week ago? God, time flies so fast, doesn't it, when you're having fun? And, and yeah, it was one of them pictures that had been uh, modified a little bit. There's more of this later on in the world, no, in the uh, uh, mm, 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 news, because Piers Morgan gets involved. You know, the guy needs, who deserves a punch in the face. Not that I'm condoning violence at all, but I do make exceptions occasionally. Um, anyway, Prince William uh, and Kate were uh, found uh, at a Windsor farm shop um, doing some shopping. But then everyone said, it's not really Kate, it's a body double. And I'm like, no, she's not Vladimir Putin or anything like that. She's just a mother who just happens to be in... Oh, we've got internet back again. Hello. Right, so are we back on? I don't know if we're back on or not. I don't know what happened then. I must admit, the internet has been crap everywhere I've been recently. Right, yeah, I can see myself waving. There's a delay. Okay then, so we're back. Um, I don't know where he went off, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, Katie uh, and Kensington Palace released this video, uh, which was where Katie revealed to the world uh, that she'd been diagnosed with cancer, although kind of implied that, um, well, hopefully, that uh, it's she's all clear at the minute and they're doing some um, uh, chemo that will stop it returning or uh, something similar. I'm not a doctor, I don't really know how these things work. Um, but yeah, she um, she's undergoing chemotherapy after cancer diagnosis. It was a very personal announcement. She's never really done anything like this. Mind you, no royal member of the royal family has actually directly spoke to the camera and said, you know, this is what's going on. Uh, Harry and Meghan say uh, they wish hope um, Everyone loves Kate. All right, uh, Alan says he sends his regard. He has family staying over, so he sends his apologies. I'll nip down afterwards and find out who the family is and see whether he's lying or not. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, and they, they uh, hope that she has health and healing in peace, which is uh, Harry and Meghan. Now, Harry and Meghan, obviously, are the... Um, the excluded members of the inner royal circle due to Harry being a complete dick over the last few years. Uh, but, um, if anything, this might um, offer an olive branch uh, to everyone involved. Now, the, the video itself, I've, I'll be honest, I've kind of, it's been on in the background and uh, I've kind of listened to it. Um, someone accused it of being edited because obviously the photograph was edited. I'm like, for sake. This poor young woman who's just in her 40s uh, has been diagnosed with cancer. She's had major abdominal surgery. She's got three small children and she's a member of the royal family. And she's coming to terms with this herself, explain it all to the kids. Um, I, I just don't understand where people are coming from who criticize people for doing something that very few of us would do. I mean, heaven forbid any of us ever get diagnosed with anything as serious as cancer. But surely to God, even chatting to your friends about it or your family about it must be absolutely horrendous. And then to do it knowing the entire world is watching you and been talking about you for weeks and weeks and weeks about what you're up to, where you are, have you died and all this kind of crap. Um, I think it was incredibly brave and incredibly honest. And, you know, this is the way of the new... Um, royal family and the way they're going I think it's a good thing I think they're they're doing the right thing by being as honest as they can be obviously they didn't go into detail and God knows we wouldn't want them to go into detail uh, I mean it's bad enough what they're going through without explaining it in minute detail what it is but we do wish Kate uh, and the entire family are all the best bearing in mind that her father-in-law the king uh, is also suffering from cancer, although he's still got cancer and he's been treated for it as well. Um, on Saturday, that was on Friday, on Saturday, 
A statement for the Princess and Prince of Wales. Uh, thanks everyone for their good wishes and kind thoughts. Uh, and they do, did hope that this would put things to rest uh, with a conspiracy theorist, although they didn't say that that's what they were implying, and that people would move on and give them space to literally recover from the last uh, few weeks. Because, you, like I said, you cannot imagine what it's like. She's so much like Diana in so many ways. I applaud her for being humble and honest. I pray it doesn't take over strong, beautiful women, a woman, true princess. Absolutely, Kelly. You're absolutely correct. Um, like I said, you know, it's bad enough. You know, you, can, you can't imagine, you know, telling your kids when your kids are all under the age of 12 that, uh, you know, mum's got a really bad thing. And, uh, you know, many people have died from it, but hopefully she's, you've got to put a brave face on, no matter what the truth is. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it just it just scares me that uh, people are criticising someone for this. Um, you know, oh, it was edited. Of course it was fucking edited. Or if it wasn't, I'd be surprised. If she could do that in one take, then she is one hell of a woman. That's all I can say. Because I don't do uh, many of my things in one take, although the interview I did, all the three interviews I've done now, we're all done in one take. But, I mean, let's be honest, that's just chatting with someone. That's not st uh, looking directly down the camera and telling the entire planet who were absolutely obsessed with you that you're unwell in any way, shape, or form. Um, we're talking about cancer and people dying of cancer. If someone asked me, how much would you give, you, uh, give me for a load of Xbox 360 games? Um, I'll tell you what. Um, they're all different. Uh, they're all... Some are tiny, some are expensive. Depends on condition. Bring them in. We'll see what we can do for you. Anyway, that was one element of the news this week, which was, like I say, pretty sad and uh, upsetting. Um, the next one is possibly even worse. And this is in Russia. Now, Russia is not everyone's favourite cup of tea at the minute, and understandably so. Uh, the uh, illegal invasion of Ukraine, uh, Putin just being an absolute arsehole, uh, and everything else going on kind of makes people want to hate Russia. But I'm like, no, it's not the Russian people who are at fault. It's, well, it's basically Putin and his Kremlin cronies who are at fault. Like, I would not blame uh, any Jewish person uh, on the planet for what's going on in Gaza other than uh, the leaders of IDF, some of the IDF soldiers, Israeli Defence Force, and obviously uh, Benjamin Netanyahu or however the hell you say it. All of which, as far as I'm concerned, are war criminals. Um, so, yeah, Russia is not everyone's favourite country at the moment for obvious reasons. Um, but this was a terrorist attack at a uh, concert hall uh, in Moscow. Now, the weird thing was that um, on Wednesday, uh, Putin held a fan celebration after winning a, a landslide victory uh, in the elections uh, the previous week. Uh, and he was out there meeting the crowd and everything. America had said a couple of weeks ago, and I can't remember whether I mentioned it or not, I may have done on here, that um, any Americans in Russia avoid crowded places, particularly large sport events and concert halls, because they've had uh, information that there is going to be a terrorist attack at an event with a lot of people there. Putin poo-pooed it, as he does, uh, and said, you know, nonsense, that wouldn't happen in our country, blah de blah de blah uh, and kind of brushed it under the carpet. And then on the Friday, the news was breaking uh, that uh, four gunmen entered uh, the concert hall uh, in Moscow at least 40 dead and 100 injured. Plus, the building was then set on fire. Now, again, I'm not an expert on fires, but this fire, this is a concrete building. Um, this is a modern building. So I, I don't understand how it burnt as well as it did. Um, it just seems bizarre. But you can't deny the fact that, uh, you know, people, innocent people who were just going out for a night of fun... And God knows, if you leave, you live in uh, Russia, you need a night out every now and then just to kind of gain some sanity. But there were children there. There was obviously just families and everything. And these gunmen just sprayed continual gunfire 
uh, from the stage into the auditorium. Um, by the time we got to Saturday, uh, uh, the Moscow theatre shooting, uh, Moscow said, or the Kremlin said, that four people had been detained and at least 133 dead um, after the attack. Um, now, ISIS claimed that uh, they were behind this attack. They even, they even put a video up of the four terrorists talking about this attack that they're going to do in uh, Moscow um, at an event. And Moscow is still trying to blame Ukraine for this. And I'm like, for fuck's sake, you've just had a terrorist attack in your country and you were trying to use this to your advantage to justify the illegal war that you're doing in Ukraine. Which is why, like I said before, I have no sympathy, whatever, for uh, Putin and his Kremlin cronies. Um, but the people who've been affected by this, the people who were at that concert, even the people who were not injured, who just went through the experience, every sympathy I could ever give them, uh, I, would, I would offer. I mean, you can't imagine you're going out for a night out and something like this happens. I mean, the last thing on this scale was the uh, arena bombing in Manchester where uh, it was a, a Andrea Grande um, a concert where uh, the um, the coward uh, blew himself up in the foyer killing many many people this was you know a higher level but absolutely horrendous and to you try and use it to justify what you're doing in Ukraine or even worse justify escalating what you're going to do in Ukraine as far as I'm concerned is an absolute anathema um, today, the news uh, came through that the uh, death toll had tragically gone up even more to 137, which had been confirmed dead. Uh, IS ISIS um, still trying to prove that they did this. Um, and today was a national, rightly so, a national day of mourning in Russia uh, for the, uh, the poor victims and the survivors of this heinous, horrendous attack. Um, oh, Michael, hi, everyone. Oh, I'm not getting my notifications. Uh, hi, Michael. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. It's nice to meet you. Hi, OK. I'm not getting notifications. No, the notifications are all over the place, Mike. Can't go around and tell the people to unsubscribe. I need subscribers. What are you doing? Sorry. Um... Which brings us on to the week's news. Now, the week's news, this is a look at the news day by day as we progress through the week. Um, some days are a lot busier than other days, uh, but none of it's great, which is why I have the bit at the end that kind of, we can cheer ourselves up. What are you doing, Silence? Um, she's been outside and she's come upstairs and she's just sat in a, well, she was sat in a plastic bag. I'm very itchy nose as well. That means I'm going to have an argument with someone. No, I'm not. Uh, anyway, week's news. So Monday, the 8th of March, the first day of this week, uh, Haiti descends into um, basically anarchy. Uh, gangs with machetes uh, just going around murdering people, slaughtering people. Uh, and there's massive shortages of food. No doubt we're going to hear about this again over the next week or two uh, as famine takes over Haiti. I mean, the whole thing again is just a desperate situation, and uh, you've got to worry. You've got to feel for the people. The majority of people who suffer in any conflict, regardless of whether it's a war, whether it's a terrorist attack, whether it's something like Haiti, which is like civil war near enough, um, or anything, it's always the public, the the innocent people who suffer. And Haiti is going down the same route as uh, Ukraine, as Gaza as the West Bank, as quite a good few um, African countries, all of whom have got problems, as Yemen, as Sudan, and now you've got to stick in there, Haiti. It's just, um, just horrible, really horrible. And it's always, like I say, the innocent families and the children and the, the, the innocents who get involved. I mean, you go back to, you know, the world wars, uh, World War Two in particular, you know, um, Russia, uh, um, America, uh, everyone in the U in uh, Europe, including the UK, uh, were fighting against um, Germany 
but more people died who were innocents uh, than the actual people who were fighting the war uh, and that is always the case and yeah it's just horrible um yeah as i mentioned earlier putin held a, a victory event at red square 87.29 percent of the vote uh, democracy at its best shown in russia uh, a few tories back penny M uh, mordant to become the replacement for rishi sunak now rishi seems to be getting a grip on things at the minute and it's like the tories are on self-destruct i mean they're probably going to lose it anyway but if you swap your leader this close to a general election, you might as well just give the keys to scumbag Keir Starmer. Oh, sorry, Sir Keir Starmer. It's just an absolute joke. Um, the EU says Israel is um, basically giving famine to Gaza. Um, and now and described Gaza as the greatest open air prison, uh, as in when it was being um, run by Hamas, but now Gaza is the greatest open air graveyard. And this is from the leader of the EU and EU countries saying this, who are meant to be uh, supporters of Israel. I've not been a supporter of the Israeli government since day two of what's going on and I figured out what they were doing. I couldn't believe it. Um, but like I say, it's not the uh, Jewish people's fault. It's just the people who are leading them. And many Jewish people hate Netanyahu as much as I do. Uh, Nottingham Forest, on a lighter note, not, uh, deducted four points uh, for too many losses. Again, I don't understand this loss thing. I mean, if you run a, a business and you lose money, why do you get deducted uh, for that or punished for losing money? You should be like, you know, you've done that. If you go bust, it's your fault. But no, that's not how it works over here. Um, and they've now been put into the relegation zone, which isn't good. Uh, March, uh, the... Uh, 19th of March, uh, which was a Tuesday, uh, first UK bloke imprisoned for cyber flashing, which is where uh, the gentleman in question um, sent pictures to people who he knew and also random people. I didn't know you could do this. Not that I would ever want to do this. Of his uh, bits and pieces in various states of um, not being floppy, shall we say. Um, anyway, he's been imprisoned for cyber flashing. It's the first case of this kind. And that seems to be uh, a way forward, to be fair. I think if people are warned off this, then that's a good thing. If they make a, a thing of him. Oh, Laney's on. Hello, Laney. Um, do you think the war is going to get more wars than this? It's going to get a lot worse than this, yeah. I think all these wars are going to... The problem is you've got so many wars going on, Michael, all over the place. It's just unbelievable. How bad things are um but it's everywhere it's, again I, I you know conspiracy theorists and me keeps thinking it's uh you know people that we don't know about even higher up the illuminati or whatever uh but not to worry because on tuesday uh the shadow chancellor uh says we need to um grow the economy to get more money for services well there you go then who'd have thought that was a thing um, grow the economy that's basically what the Tories are trying to do as well that's what every country in the world is trying to do I mean this woman is a keen genius I can imagine when she takes over in a few months time we're all going to be millionaires but that's only because the price of a loaf of bread will be a quarter of a million pounds uh, Jeremy Hunt um, hopes there will be another budget before the general election in the autumn uh, so basically, they can just uh, splatter out a lot of tax cuts and then in the budget in April, if they win, uh, they can renege all them and put them away again and forget it never happens. Um, now, I've never I've, I've always said that I'm not a big fan of a lot of the green energy. Um, hello, His Majesty's Council Gritter. Hope you're all well. Um, <laughs> Everyone's just said hello to each other at the minute. It's, it's going quite quick off my screen, but never mind. I don't get the full screen, you see, because I, uh, I need this to see what I'm doing. Um, uh, I don't, Michael, no. Uh, so, yeah, £60 billion is going to be needed to get electricity from the offshore wind farms that they've been built um, 
to get them to the power grid. And I'm like, surely to God, you think of that before you give the go ahead for these uh, offshore wind turbines. Uh, I know there's quite a few. If you go to uh, Morecambe, you can see them. And if you go to Scarborough, and if you go to uh, many Yorkshire uh, uh, coastal towns, you can see the wind farms in the distance. And wind farms are, are all very well and good. But when you build them offshore, it does make the maintenance a lot higher. For example, they're more likely to uh, get damaged by salt water. I mean, who'd have thought that? <laughs> they're in the middle of the fucking sea. Of course, they're going to get more damaged by the salt water. That makes them more difficult to maintain because you need to get out to them. And you can't do that when the weather's bad um, because they're in the middle of the fucking sea. So you need a boat and you need someone with strong stomach to get there. Um, and then they've not thought about the, you need to get the power onto the land. I mean, my grandson's six. I'm pretty sure he could figure that one out. Anyway, there's now saying that we need some in the region of uh, 4,000 uh, miles of uh, electricity pylons, brand new electricity pylons to be built across various parts of the land and about 2,000 miles of, it might be kilometres, of um, underground cabling, etc. So it's going to cost 60 billion. And don't forget, these wind turbines built in the sea cost considerably more than a wind, tu uh, wind turbine built on the land. And then there's a little thing about, well, they're not that green, are they? Because they're made from various metals and they're shipped around on big lorries which pump out diesel uh, fumes and everything else. And then they have to be taken by a ship, which is diesel, and they have to be uh, kept maintained by diesel. And th the whole thing is just complete uh, anathema. And I'm going to, I know he's not in tonight, but Alan Barton, because I'm going to go down the electricity car route, uh, always says that electricity cars are king. Just to wind me up, he has a petrol-driven BMW. Um, so we know he's, he's, he's not talking sense. Um, da -da -da -da. Oh, it's people talking about Tomb Raider, as you do. Um, but no, electric cars are not the future either. If you watch my uh, most recent normal uh, wig and watch, you'll see the walk I did uh, where it was just about four or five EV points in a car park and the amount of tarmac that had been dug up and replaced in order to put all the monumental cabling to uh, these points. And then all the... It's just, it's just a joke. So no, uh, nuclear power, the only way forward. Anyway... Got that off my chest. That brings us to Wednesday. Uh, now, Wednesday was an interesting day because inflation fell to 3.4%, which is the lowest it's been in three years. Now, a lot of this is to, nothing to do with Rishi and the government. It's just uh, worldwide prices. Uh, EVs of the future. Shut up, Sean. You'll get banned. You're talking nonsense. He has an EV. Um, well... It's a weird EV. It's an EV that you need petrol in to work. So, I mean, it's not even an EV. Please give me a shut up. Um, but anyway, uh, inflation, 3.4%, lowest in three years. Doesn't mean prices aren't going up. It just means they're going up a bit slower. Not that we're ever going to notice. Uh, the Irish uh, Prime Minister announces he's stepping down. Um, and uh, he's leaving the party as well. He's just leaving politics. Uh, the first homosexual gay um, Irish Prime Minister, if not the first openly gay leader, because uh, he's been leader of the uh, Irish Parliament for quite a while. Uh, pardon me, on and off. So uh, I think he was the first one to be openly uh, gay when he when he took office. Uh, but anyway, his surprise resignation. Um, big questions being asked about who tried to access... Uh, Princess Katie's private records while she was in the private hospital uh, and the hospital were quoted to say no place in here for those who uh, intentionally breach a patient's trust and that should be right regardless of who the patient is um, what? what's that? oh yeah uh, UK rent rises 
So this is if you are in a particularly private rented accommodation. Uh, has gone up by 9% in 12 months, which is the highest rise uh, ever. Now, bear in mind, there's a cost of living crisis going on and everything else going on as well. That just seems horrendous. This is a percentage day, isn't it? We've had 3.4 for the lowest rate of inflation. We have a 9% the highest ever rise in rents. And we've got 98% uh, of junior doctors who voted uh, to continue the strikes for their 35% uh, wage claim. 68% uh, of the uh, junior doctors voted. So I suppose if every single junior doctor voted and we assume that 32% who didn't vote would have voted against it, which they probably wouldn't have done, um, then it still would have gone through anyway by a bigger majority than Brexit. Um, and then uh, Gethin, uh, Gethin becomes the leader of Wales. Uh, he's the first Asian uh, person to take over uh, the Welsh um, Parliament. And the Banksy mural that we looked at uh, last week uh, was defaced with white paint. And to add to the turmoil that's going on with card payments in various different big companies, shock or a gasp, a parole, after um, Sainsbury's, uh, McDonald's, um, who else has had it? Uh, quite a few companies. Greg's. I mean, oh my God, are you going to get a steak bake if they can't take cash, uh, can't take card? Um, so yeah, it's shocking that all these systems are going down. Now, they keep saying it's not to do with cyber security. It's got nothing to do with China. It's got nothing to do with Russia and Putin. It's just these are updates. Now, they might all be using the same system, which kind of makes you think a bit about the post office scandal that went on because all that was because of an update on the software that they had that caused all the issues they've got and people are pushing us to go cashless it terrifies me to think that one day we will be a cashless society you've got to have at least 20 quid in your purse or your wallet uh, in order just to survive in case things go wrong with card payments because the internet is not a safe place and things can be tampered with and updates just don't always work they don't always do what they're supposed to do Uh, Stephen says you do have a few weirdos that come on your channel. Um, <laughs> I mean, some would argue that there's a weirdo running the channel, so yeah, par for the course. Uh, brings us to Thursday, the 21st of March, 2020. Uh, women's pensions, a uh, big furore about this. Uh, women have been mourning that the age of pension for females has gone up to 65 without notice. There was notice. Okay, it might have been well publicised. But if I was coming towards pension and I really needed it, I would look into it. Um, now, I'm going to upset a few people here, no doubt, the female part of this uh, community. So apologies in advance uh, to Lainey, Angela, Kelly and anyone else who's watching. But haven't for the last 10 plus years, women been screaming out for equality? You know, like we want equal pay with men. We want equal rights with men. We want as many women doing things as men do. We want all this equal rights for everything. Every, you know, Women should have the same opportunities and the same... Isn't this equality then? Making the uh, state age of pension 65 for women? That's making it equal, isn't it? I know, devil's advocate here. I'm not saying I agree or disagree with that. I'm just saying, you know, you've, you, <laughs> equality doesn't always work in people's favour. Um... And this is one of those things. I don't for a minute think it was done for equality purposes. I think it was just made to save money. But uh, yeah, it does strike me as, oh, you can't do that with women. We should be able to retire at 60, but the men can carry on working till the 65. Yes, uh, me included in the weirdos uh, clan, says Lainey. I can conf confirm. But yeah, you can't have your cake and eat it. I mean, it's a bit like... Um, there was um, a thing a couple of oh, well last year when I was in the Grand Arcade and the, the, we have a, a WhatsApp group and everything and the question was asked for a military day or whatever it's called uh, army day uh, you know which shops are going to give discounts uh, to people who are in the army or ex-army people and lots of shops say oh it's 10% 15% uh, 5% 
Um, we even do it to the, the, you know, the, the, the wives and the children of people who are in the army. We'll give them it as well. And I'm like, no, I'm not having this. So I, I completely killed the chat. Uh, and I says, um, here at Games and More, Games and More, where we don't sell PS4s and PS5s, and we give good a uh, good amount of money for DVDs and Xbox 360 games, regardless um, of their title, uh, but certainly not regardless of condition. We treat everyone the same, regardless of their job status. At which point, someone put up a melting, uh, smiley face. Um, and the melting, smiley face, I assume, meant that someone thought I was a melt. So I then said... Uh, we do uh, no. We are equal opportunities in our store, and we do not treat people similar uh, differently just because they work for a government body, where they are guaranteed a job, guaranteed an income, and have many other benefits. I would sooner support someone if I was going to be picky, like a single mother who's got two or three kids, who she's trying to get through school. She's got three or four jobs, and um, she. <laughs> Lenny's just put girlies, let's get him. Um, and uh, it's struggling to buy a pair of shoes for our eldest son who's growing up really quickly because that's what they do when they get to about 12. Um, completely killed it, the whole thing. No one ever mentioned it again. So it'll be interesting this year to see what crops up because I dare say in uh, June we'll be back there again. Anyway, um, feminists want the good stuff of equality like being CEOs and board members but don't want the shitty end of being male like only getting two weeks off after birth of a child. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say that, that was Sean. Just to clarify, give you his address at the end of the show. Um, tragic news, a woman was found guilty of the murder of her three-year-old son uh, who was basically shaken to death. Uh, 514 migrants um, uh, crossed the channel uh, on Thursday, making over 4,000 uh, already this year. Uh, Rwanda is a complete waste of time, needs scrapping, and we just need to send these people back to France. We can legally send them back to the last safe country that they left, France. We pay France millions, if not more, so surely to God, uh, we just send them back to France. Oh, you've, oh, you're here again, are you? Never mind, we'll give you a quick trip back to France. Enjoy your croissants. Um, a bloke admits he... Um, he, re he rephrased uh, his um, testimony in the post office scandal, causing at least one person to be jailed. So he was basically told, you can't put that in your testimony, you need to change it to this. That testimony was used uh, in a court case, and an innocent person was sent to prison because of the testimony. And the jury were not told, even though the prosecution knew, the defence didn't know, uh, that the testimony had been changed. I mean, it's uh, Easter egg prices are up by up to 50%, and some of them are even smaller than last year. Uh, I mean, you know, Cabbage Cream eggs now are that small that they're practically uh, mini eggs. Well, maybe not. Um, Leicester City have been charged with spending rules over the last three years, with some more deductions coming there. Uh, you, the US government files a lawsuit on Apple for um, basically not allowing non-Apple apps or non-Apple friendly apps to be on their uh, devices. So therefore, if you want music on your uh, Apple device, you've got to use iTunes because nothing else really works properly. Um, so anyway, the US is filing a lawsuit against its own, which I think is fair enough. And Angela Rayner, you know, the deputy leader of the uh, Labour Party, fisherman's wife kind of uh, lady, says her house sale um, was perfectly legit, uh, there was no rules broken, and um, she took advice um, so that she wouldn't have to pay anything, although I don't think she quite worded it like that, but that's how I wrote it, because I'm a big Angela Rayner fan, <laughs> said no one. We've already covered the news for Friday and Saturday, so that brings us to Sunday, which is tonight, today, it's a brave new world, Apple Music, not iTunes, okay, sorry. <laughs> See, Sean Jay's upsetting everyone now. He's upset all the girls and all the ladies. And now he's upset me. Fuming. Um, <laughs> fuming. So, yeah, Sunday 24th. 
Uh, triple lock on pension rises will remain if the Tories win the general election. I wonder why they're doing that. Oh yeah, to get the elderly people to vote for them, which I think is a pretty decent ploy to be fair. <laughs> I think, you know, you might as well. I mean, if you get in, it's a miracle if you remain in power. So why not reward the people who have got you in there, which would be the elderly in this case. Uh, and alternatively, if you don't get in, well, you don't have to deliver it anyway. So it doesn't really matter either way. Fair play. Um, we're not really mentioned Gaza this week, um, mainly because of the other horrendous, heinous things that have been going on. Uh, but the hospital was uh, overtaken, overtaken, was taken over by um, the IDF uh, on Tuesday, I think it is. And there's been no word of what's going on in that hospital. Um, and again, you've got to think, because it's the IDF, war crimes. Um, I, I just don't understand why people support the IDF at all. Um, if they went in there and took out the people from Hamas who were the leaders of Hamas, who were the members of Hamas who were active, then, and only them, with a minimal amount of um, what they call it collateral damage, then you'd be like, yeah, okay, fair enough, you've got a point, you need to sort Hamas out, blah, 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 blah. But the way they're doing it, they're just creating a mass mark too in the next five to ten years when all these young boys and girls who are being petrified, who are maimed and seeing the parents killed and the grandparents slaughtered and executed, uh, they're going to be up in arms and they're going to want revenge as well when they're old enough to do it. It just seems, I don't know, I don't know. And then in Greater Manchester, fantastic news for the public transport sector. Uh, the second phase of the B network has come into uh, being. Uh, it's been such a success in Wigan. I mean, the, the number of people who don't complain about the lack of buses, the, the timetable being a complete irrelevance, uh, getting three buses at once, uh, but I've been waiting an hour for a bus that's supposed to be here every 10 minutes. Um, the, the state of the buses, I mean, everything about it is just pathetic. And they're now bringing it out in uh, Bury and Oldham and that kind of area. All I've got to say to you is, uh, Bury, Oldham, I'm really sorry, but it's not my fault. It may get better. It can get worse. And that is the news roundup of the week. Which brings us to the world's news reported this week. So this is the news from around the world, which includes unusually uh, news from, well, news reported in the UK. 15 minutes, not 10. I'm not on about our buses. <laughs> Ours are 20 minutes now uh, the, for the bus route that we have. Because I waited for one the other day and it, it was, yeah, I, I was late for work. So why why is that there? That that should not be there. That was right. Why why are these in? Okay, these are not in order. So I do apologise in advance. For some reason, it's completely uh, mushed up the order, and I don't know why. But anyway, this is world news. So we we'll start off with something that's quite uh, light-hearted. Uh, and that is the news that uh, one of the um, original uh, Superman comics, uh, which was released uh, in the 1930s, I think it was, um, has sold for a record-breaking price at an auction. Uh, the near-perfect, uh, pristine issue of Action Comic number one uh, go, uh, is expected to... Oh, it hasn't sold... It's expected to sell for over 5.3 million dollars. Now it may do, it may not do. That's what they're predicting. So we will keep an eye on that. So the first ever action comic that sold for 10 cents may now be worth over 5.3 million dollars. Although it is dollars. Uh, Camilla Harris unknowingly claps and nods along to a song that's protesting her during her visit to Puerto Rico. <laughs> um, 
Camilla Harris was cluelessly clapping along and all smiles as a man began singing in Spanish outside a community centre in Puerto Rico last week until she was told what was, he was actually saying. The vice president, 59, looks good on 59, had ventured into a courtyard after a visit um, in San Juan when the protester broke into song in Spanish. Uh, trying to be friendly, she smiled and clapped along, but he was basically telling her to cut off and go all. At CEX, they'll give you 20p for it. You're on about the comic book, aren't you? Yeah, well, that's still double your money if you bought it originally for 10 cents. Not all bad. What would happen uh, to Washington, D.C. if attacked by a nuclear bomb? Uh, well, I think the world would be a safer place. Well, it probably wouldn't, but you know what I mean. Uh, BBC Inside denies Kate Middleton cancer announcement video was edited. Uh, a staffer for the BBC Studios, which shot the video of Kate Middleton announcing her cancer's diagnosis, denied suggestions the footage was edited after the princess recently came under fire for doctoring a Mother's Day photo of herself with her children. Um, she's 42, according to that report. I think we get back into uh, alphabetical soon. A uh, trans-identifying male in a women's prison found having sex with a female inmate. So a transgender identifying male was discovered having sex with a female inmate at a Washington state women's prison, uh, according to an incident report of the event. A corrections officer at the Washington Corrections Center for Women discovered 35-year-old Brian Kim, who murdered his parents and now goes by Amber Faye Cox Kim, having sex with a 25-year-old. I mean, again, the, you know, this, we are on about equal rights before. Um, you know, transgender, if you break the law, I mean, this guy's a murderer. And as I just say, guy, uh, this guy's a murderer. This guy deserves to be in a male prison. I mean, it's just nonsense. If you cannot have human rights, if you've removed the human lives of your mum and dad, for God's sake, it doesn't matter who it is. Um, so hopefully they will get transferred to where they deserve to be maximum security proper men's prison but only let them wear ladies clothes so how long that goes for uh, new york city flooding live updates big apple pounded a city expected to see as much as five inches of rain now five inches of rain i work out is about that much it's about five inches that's what i always tell people anyway more of that later uh, isn't March supposed to be uh, to go out like a lamb? Uh, more like a lion, though. Uh, a complete washout on Saturday in New York City and the other northeast areas from Maine down to Virginia. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be windy. As well. We've had weird weather as well. It's uh, the weather that does it. That's what it is. This is the last one that's out of sync. Uh, Death-defying New York City subway surfer gang ride on iconic bridge in deadly social media trends. So we've now got a gang of uh, teenagers riding on the top of trains. Maybe the best thing to do is not publicise the fact so people don't do it. Just a thought. Uh, this was the uh, eruption in Iceland uh, last weekend of the uh, volcano. And what an incredible image that is. Um, you can see all the little veins of the lava. It's like a leaf um, coming away from the main uh, rupture. Now, the Icelandic volcanoes always have, because I remember when I was a youngster, there was uh, Icelandic eruptions, and it was like a sheet of lava going up rather than like the, you know, Pompeii, which is probably the most commonly known one, um, and other ones uh, where um, the uh, lava kind of comes out the top, uh, spews up into the air, and then falls down, and then comes down the mountain it's like a big long like it's, it's basically is a fissure it's a crack in the earth's crust where the uh, lava breaks through and then spreads cat's back on her bag again she's on the bag um now we've all been moaning about electricity prices but even in australia it's a problem uh power bill relief for aussie homes uh, millions of Australian homes are set for some much-needed electricity bill relief 
as from July the 1st, with the National's Energy, Energy Regulator set to cap the amounts retailers can charge customers. So basically, even though they're the other side of the fucking planet and not involved with Brexit or the war in Ukraine or whatever, uh, their electricity and gas prices have gone through the roof as well. Uh, which kind of proves the point, really. It's not always the government that can do this. It's uh, sometimes beyond the control. Uh, this is UK, but uh, police release footage of a motorcyclist being rammed off a bridge in a fit of road rage. Um, no one knows really what happened initially, but uh, this uh, white car drove into uh, a motorbike and hit another car head on in a road raid incident where the uh, biker was thrown clean off his bike and over the edge of a bridge as well. Um, didn't die, thankfully, uh, but has got some pretty uh, interesting in, uh, injuries. Uh, Manchester Evening News covering the shocking news that Greg's stores were closed across the UK uh, after being hit by a payment issue uh, in Australia. Uh, they've got uh, an Aussie apple uh, a variety, a new variety of apple is delivering a bite with a little extra surprise. Uh, red on the inside as well as on the out. The Red Love apple has been 20 years in the making, taking its name not only from its colour, but its heart shape when quartered. Uh, grown only in the Adelaide Hills, it's also 15 to 20% higher in antioxidants than a standard apple. Um, so good news if you're an apple eater in Australia. Of course, they cost $20 each because of inflation. I don't know how much they cost. I just made that up. Yeah, the, the motorcyclist, it's horrendous, Laney. You are right. Uh, back in Australia, a man dies after a deadly snake bite. But not one, a few. A man has died after being bitten multiple times on his arm by an eastern brown snake in Townsville. Uh, the man reportedly suffered the bites near his uh, deer grun, and I'm like, what part of the body is that? But no, it's his home, before returning to his house to tell the wife, who then called an ambulance. He was then rushed to Townsville University Hospital in a critical condition, later succ uh, succ no, succumbing to his injuries. Now, last week, uh, I mentioned the uh, snake catcher who was in hospital uh, seriously ill after being bitten by a snake as well. Um, sadly, he, well, for him, it was a happy ending because I think he's been released from hospital now. Uh, he's certainly, you know, on the road to recovery anyway. Sadly, not as a happy ending for this poor gentleman, uh, which begs the question, why the hell would you move to Australia? Uh, marijuana could be legal in five years. Hmm. Uh, one of Australia's most respected senior police officers believes marijuana will be legal and freely available within five years across the entire country. Uh, Mick Palmer, the former head of both the AFP, t uh, AFP and NT police, has stepped up his campaign to regulate cannabis. We arrest such a small percentage of the cannabis uh, user population. Why are we persisting with arresting them, Palmer said. Yeah, but we found in America that there are many states who've legalised it and are now trying to figure a way of unlegalising it again because, uh, well, everything's gone wrong. Who'd have thought legalising drugs would make life better for people? Uh, card fraud on the rise in Australia. Uh, d new data has revealed up to 2 million Australians aged over 15 have experienced card fraud in 22-23, with one in six victims losing more than $1,000, which... Uh, Australian dollars so you convert that to the UK it's about 50 quid on average $200 was withdrawn or spent from each of the estimated 1.8 million card fraud incidents um, another thing about cash you can't defraud people of cash other than mugging them for the cash um, <laughs> then is put lovely modified fruit it does look pretty disgusting to be fair I thought they when I first saw the picture Go back to it. I thought they'd actually put a strawberry inside an apple. That's what I thought when I first saw it. Well, that's weird. A weird. Uh, meanwhile, in Australia, uh, population is surging. Uh, Australia's population has surged by 2.5%, growing by nearly 660,000 people in just one year, according to new statistics. The surge is 
are largely due to an increase in migrant workers and students. Now the students generally they go back to their country of origin so you can always near enough discount 50% of them. Uh, but yeah, they've got one of the strictest migrant policies in the world. Um, so if, if they've got a problem with, uh, you know, migrants, then you know, what chance have we got? Uh, meanwhile, the unemployment rate plunges in Australia. Uh, Australia's unemployment rate has fallen shortly to 3.7%. And while it might be positive news for the economy, it lessens the chance of an interest rate cut anytime soon. Because they've got the same problem we've got. Interest rates on bank loans and everything are ridiculously high. It's not to do with the government. It is, but it isn't. Uh, Milena Trump hints she'll soon rejoin Donald on a campaign trail by saying, stay tuned. A former First Lady, Milena Trump, made a rare public appearance alongside Donald uh, and indicated that she may soon join the presumptive Republican presidential nominee on the 2024 campaign trail. Uh, she said, stay tuned, uh, to reporters when asked about a potential return to the stump circuit with her husband. That's what they call it. She calls her fingers stumpy. Her fingers got small hands. And the couple spotted ending uh, to vote in the Florida Republican primary. Uh, yeah. Can you, yeah, yeah, of course you can. What am I talking about? I don't know. Uh, Orthodox Jewish men hit by objects thrown from car in third possible anti-Semitic incident in a UWS over one weekend. Uh, again, I do not think that these things are a valid thing to do. Uh, two Orthodox Jewish men were pelted with unknown objects while walking on the Upper West Side. Uh, cops and city councilmen say the third possible anti-Semitic uh, anti uh, incident in the neighbourhood over the weekend. The two Jewish men, ages 65 and 19, were wearing traditional garb, including headscarf and hat while walking across uh, the North uh, Crosswalk. There's also been vandalism to uh, businesses, uh, Jewish-owned businesses and everything, which, you know, it does take you back to um, what happened to the um, Jewish people in Nazi Germany. And these people have got nothing to do with what's going on in Gaza. These people are just living their lives, trying to live a peaceful, quiet life like everyone else. And they're being victimised for something that they cannot control. Uh, I don't think there's a, any room for that. I don't agree with what the, the uh, IDF and Israel are doing in Gaza, but it is not, uh, you know, a couple of blokes walking home uh, in New York's uh, fault. A New York City robot barista will make you coffee in minutes, but it also asks for a tip. Cheeky bastard. Uh, Dumi Argo, Mr. Roboto, an android barista kiosk in Hudson Yards, is causing coffee drinkers uh, a short circuit from excitement as the mocha making machine, mocha making machine, uh, autonomously handles their orders. But what this bot really runs on is tips. That's right. Even robots are prompting customers to pay it uh, forward on a tablet screen, and don't assume it's easier to skimp on the gratuity. Um, yeah, there's a machine that has no soul that's asking for tips for making your coffee, your coffee. Um, weird. Uh, NATO countries must pay up and Alliance needs to treat us fairly, Trump argues. This is his soapbox about NATO. And to a degree, I kind of agree with him. Uh, former President Donald Trump criticised NATO countries in an interview with British television saying the other 31 countries in the Atlantic Alliance need to pay up to ensure US protection. Trump, 77, has criticised NATO countries for not spending enough money on defence in the past, but went further on the sit-down with GB News presenter Nigel Farage, um, saying that, yeah, basically, repeating what he said a few months ago, where he said he would just let Putin do whatever he wanted if the country's invaded, hasn't paid enough of their GDP, in his opinion, to NATO. Uh, dad jailed for repeatedly calling kids school to gripe about too much homework. Uh, and Ohio, 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 why do I always get that wrong? Landed in detention behind bars this week for reportedly calling his kids school to complain about too much homework. Uh, Adam Sizemore, 37, was charged with telecommunications harassment and menacing 
after phoning his child's school several times, warning the principal at one point that he'd better put his big boy pants on, leading to the school uh, office to fear violence. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's more serious stuff going on in America than a dad ringing up a school to complain about the amount of homework that's going on. Having said that, it's America. Uh, maybe they've stopped him going and just shooting up everyone. Uh, this is a story that's been running for a little while, but uh, this first time I've talked about it. Uh, Riley Strains, um, he's a missing student, and they revealed his last text as new evidence leads to a hundred more questions. A missing University of Missouri senior Riley Strain sent a confusing final text message before he vanished from a Nashville bar, according to a family friends who say each piece of new evidence only leads to a hundred more uh, questions. So, yeah, missing uh, young lad uh, in America. There's more of that in a bit. A mum who left toddler home alone to starve to death while she vacationed for 10 days learns her fate. The Ohio, yeah, he said it, mother who left her 16-month-year-old daughter to starve to death while she went on a 10-day holiday, has been sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. I do knock the American justice system a lot, but fair play on this one. Uh, Kristen, uh, Crystal, 32, committed the ultimate betrayal by abandoning her daughter, Jaylene, without food or water last summer so she could jet off to Detroit and Puerto Rico. I mean, yeah, I think that's being kind, given a life sentence without any chance of parole. In America, they could do a lot worse. Uh, Alaskan Airlines passenger injured when door flew off mid-flight is suing airline. Uh, says he was holding on for dear life. To a crab? Or maybe that picture's not related. An Alaskan Airlines passenger injured when a Boeing, uh, the Boeing door panel flew off at 16,000 feet said he was left holding on for dear life as his shoes and cell phone were sucked through the large gap next to him. Uh, Chung Tran, 40, told the BBC he'd been planning to take a nap while on the five, uh, January the 5th flight with a friend when terror struck soon after takeoff. Uh, yeah, and... I think that was the guy's phone that was found then, but they still haven't found that young lad's t-shirt. Sorry. Uh, Trump claims every Jewish person who votes Democrat hates their religion and Israel. Uh, former president, I mean, that's what, if that's not anti-Semitic, Semitic, I don't know what is. Uh, former president Donald Trump on Monday uh, riled against Jewish people who vote for Democrats, arguing they hate Israel and their religion. Any Jewish person that votes for Democrats hates their religion. The presumptive uh, general, uh, the GOP nominee for president, said during an appearance at the American First with Sebastian Gorka podcast. They hate everything about Israel. They should be ashamed of themselves, he said, in his lovely, beautiful voice that he's got. Now, there's two of these this week. Uh... Does this channel support the Jews? Is that what you're asking, GP? Welcome, by the way. Um, I support the Jewish people in general. I do not support what Netanyahu and the IDF are currently doing in Gaza, although I do not support, by any stretch of the imagination, Hamas, if that sums it up in 30 seconds. Um, so, yeah. A photo department posts photos of suspect with Lego heads to protect their IDs under a new Californian law. Uh, getting arrested is no child's play except for these Californian cops. Uh, the Murrieta Police Department has been posting hilarious arrest and lineup arrest and lineup photos with suspect faces replaced by Lego heads to comply with a walk state law protecting offenders' rights. Images on the department's Instagram page show the Lego blocks with a variety of facial expressions. I didn't say I hated Trump. Did I say I hate Trump? I don't like Trump, I don't hate him. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, I kind of agree with this in a way, and I don't agree with it anyway. I don't think people should be named and shamed 
uh, when they've been arrested for something until they're at least charged with the offence. So that kind of works in this respect. Um, but if you've been charged with something, then uh, I think all that goes out the window. Um, but yeah, the the police department. This is the police department doing this. Lego heads. Uh, Biden emission rules target gas cars with more than half of sales to be electric by 2032. Now I've been going on about gas powered cars, hydrogen cars, for years, on here and in other places as well. Uh, the Biden administration announced less stringent automobile emission standards after appeals from the auto industry as sales of electric cars vehicle it's a speed bump people have realized electric cars are not the future at last officials still hail the new rules as the most ambitious planet ever to cut planet warming uh, the emissions from passenger vehicles uh, though they relax initial tailpipe uh, limits proposed last year by the event environmental protection agency so what are you doing, cat? The cat's making a load of noise behind me. Uh, yeah, electric cars, not the future. Absolutely not. Absolute waste of time. We're being brainwashed into this, or at least simple people are brain brainwashed into this. Um, hiya, Sean, if you're still on. Um, <laughs> he's got an electric car. Oh, hi, uh, um, uh, Luke as well. He's got an electric car as well. Uh, but no, electric cars are not the future. Uh, hydrogen, once we figure out a way of making hydrogen, uh, that is the future. And everyone says, oh, you can't do that because hydrogen is explosive. No, it doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. That's not how I, It's not a little hydrogen bomb in your car. Do some research. Uh, New York City's Russian voters waited four hours to cast the ballots against Putin, uh, despite most of them believing the election was rigged. Again, I have no problem with Russian people. Uh, the majority of Russian people are either brainwashed or actually are too scared to say what they think, or a bit of both. In America, they say what they think, and most of them don't agree with Putin. Um, and you've got to you've got to admire them for that. Of course, if they say it in public, uh, Putin's got people all over the world, uh, so they might still be um, going. The GP's been respectful. He's been uh, they. Sorry, they are being respectful. Whoa. No, it's fine. They can ask questions. I don't mind people arguing or asking questions. It's fine. Uh, New York City to host America's two hundred fiftieth birthday celebrations in twenty twenty six. With a massive shit parade. I mean ship parade, sorry. Uh, she doesn't look a day over 249. The United States will ring its upcoming 250th birthday. Or semi-quincentennial. With a massive international parade of tall sailing ships in New York Harbour on July the 4th. Of course, 2026. Uh, the event, which will be a throwback to similar ship parades in 1976. Which I don't remember, although I was around then. And in 2000, expected to attract more than 6 million visitors to the region and be a symbol of America's um, predominant place in the world. Calm down, GP. Um, no, we're, we're open to debate here. It's fine. It is fine. But we don't go calling people names, okay? An Illinois judge rules illegal migrants can carry guns. What could possibly go wrong? A federal judge in Illinois, appointed by President Barack Obama, ruled that the Constitution protects the rights of non-citizens who enter the U.S. illegally uh, to um, old guns. I mean, <laughs> it's like, yeah, not only are you here illegally and you've snuck across the border, but have a gun. We won't do you for it. Um, oh, hi, Kim. Welcome. Mm. Uh, three little rascals arrested for Houston area Wells Fargo bank heist. Now, it was a joke in the UK when we had the Hatton Garden uh, jewellery heist uh, got me getting on for about 10 years ago now uh, where a lot of basically old age pensioner ex um, gangster types had been um, um, well done a heist on this jewellery thing well this is the other end of the spectrum a trio of tiny bank robbers dubbed the Little Rascals were arrested by the FBI for allegedly robbing a Wells Fargo in Houston the three boys aged 11, 12 and 16 were charged with robbery by threat. 
uh, the FBI's field officer in Houston said. Uh, because they are juveniles, their names and no additional details will be released. Um, the robbery happened in a Wells Fargo in Houston. So yeah, <laughs> mini, mini bank robbers. My grandson was a bank robber, but he never hurt no bony. Uh, my daughter has made $4,000 from modeling and she's only eight months old. Uh, she's a real ba boss baby. I've never seen the film, so I don't know what that means. A Long Island infant who started modeling at just five months old has already earned $4,000 as the face of Walmart and Costco. Um, NJ was born on the 5th of July, 2023, and got into modeling after a mum, Sarah Lutzka, submitted cute photos to estate management kids, New York City. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, but child stardom never ends well for people, does it? Uh, you, you don't agree with what um, babies be models I think that bad. as long as they're not exploited I don't really see I mean you know you've got to have I mean there's loads of babies in nappy adverts on the telly I don't think it's that bad as long as, say, as, long as they're not exploited but yeah if child stardom never ends well for people um but to be fair, not uh, not a child. Not a child. What went about? A uh, winner of one point eight uh, one point seven six billion dollar Powerball jackpot has uh, remortgaged the home before scoring the second highest lottery prize ever. Uh, Grandpa can rest now. The newly revealed winner of the Powerball second largest jackpot prize with one point seven six five billion dollars has reportedly remortgaged his modest home for ninety three thousand dollars before coming into the sudden windfall as he has set up a trust with a heartwarming uh, name that's a nod to his late grandfather. Uh, Theodos Theo Struck, a 65 year old Hawaii native now living in California, uh, got his lottery tickets. Uh, not two babies being muddled. Yeah, I kind of get where you're coming from, but I think it's... <sighs> I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Uh, oh, yeah. Patient received kidney from genetically engineered pig in medical breakthrough. An ailing 62-year-old man has been successfully given a kidney transplant from a genetically engineered pig in a first-of-its-kind procedure. Uh, surgeons from Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston carried out the milestone transplant last weekend. Um, the kidney started producing urine soon after the surgery, according to doctors performing the surgery. Because uh, that's what your kidneys do. But it doesn't put me off steak and kidney puddings. I do like a good steak and kidney pudding. Even though I know it makes wee wee. Uh, first human with Neuralink brain chip. Demonstrates moving cursor with his mind. And can't even describe how cool it is. Uh, well he can't because he can't actually move any part of his body. Um, so he can't describe how cool it is. Uh, the first, which is sad really. The first human to have a Neuralink computer chip surgically implanted to his brain demonstrated how he uses his thoughts to move a computer cursor around a screen to play an online chess game and toggle on and off a music stream. Um, uh, I mean, it's great and all that, but you, you do sometimes wonder where things are going. Uh, Planet Fitness stock plummets after woman's membership cancelled for taking pictures of a man in woman's locker room shaving. Again, this goes back to the... Um, the transgender nonsense. Uh, Planet Fitness saw the valuation of the company stock drop this week after an Alaskan gym cancelled a woman's membership when she photographed a male using the woman's locker room. Um, so they sided on the bloke uh, and got rid of the woman. And now people are rightly... I think the companies need to wise up that the fact that people, the general public, do not want walk everywhere. Look at Disney films recently. They have plummeted. Um, in um, box office and everything else uh, because they're just, walk, just too walkified. Uh, the problem you've got at the minute is uh, big companies and governments are pandering 
to minorities of minorities and telling the rest of us what to think and do. And, uh, you, the, you know, we've got to sort this out. We've got to take back control. Uh, Rochester schools close. Uh, and a, a boil water advisory issued after an adult male body found in a reservoir. A Rochester school shut down uh, and residents were warned to boil their water after a body was found in the city's reservoir. Workers with the city's Bureau of Water discovered the adult male around 8 a.m. during their morning checks of the Highland Park Reservoir. Uh, the reservoir was immediately disconnected from public water supply and a plan to... Well, I don't know, what can you do? I always thought, now call me naive, but up to fairly recently, I always thought that water that you drank out of your tap had gone through many, many, many processes before it got to the tap. Uh, for example, um, getting rid of, you know, bacteria and um, getting rid of life forms and sieving it and, you know, general stuff um, and it does go through a lot of processes but what opened my eyes up was a few years ago uh, in the northwest of the UK I think it was around Preston way uh, the water was contaminated with microorganisms and um, these were making people unwell when they drank the water so what they come up with was this pipe that, that the main water pipe went through this extra pipe that they put into it which had um, oh, infrared lights in it. And the infrared lights killed the bacteria. Uh, if you've ever, ever been to a, uh, a, a, a toilet in um, Marks and Spencers, which is a bit random, but they have these hand dryers where you put your hand in and it blows air really fast uh, across your hands, but it's also got a blue light on it as well. And that blue light is infrared and that kills the bacteria. And I'm like, okay then, so you've killed the bacteria, uh, or the microorganisms, or whatever they are, but they're still in the fucking water. So people are now drinking dead microorganisms, and that's fine. Which is one reason why I don't drink water out of a tap. I don't even like brushing my teeth with it, but what choice have we got? Yeah, physically. Uh, Riley Strange, search helmed by same rescue group who tried to find Cameron Robbins, who vanished in shark-infested waters. The search for missing college student is being assisted by the same organisation which tried to find Cameron Robbins, who vanished in a shark-infested waters after jumping off a booze cruise on the Caribbean. Such a rescue non-profit, United Cajun Navy announced. Um, so yeah, hopefully they can find uh, what's happened to this young lad. Um, but uh, yeah, it's... Tragic times, but again, it takes you back to what happened um, last year in the UK when uh, there was this search from this private company who couldn't find this body of this uh, Nicola Bouli who'd um, disappeared in a, and she, they thought she'd dropped into a river. And uh, a few weeks later, they did find it in the river that had been searched by these people. That the it's it's just weird how things seem to be repeating. Uh, Israeli military said it killed 90 gunmen in raid on Gaza's largest hospital. Uh, the Israeli militants, there is a bacteria in tap water as you are told, that is a contact lenses where it never use tap water near your eyes as it can cause blindness. Oh brilliant, thanks lady, that's really encouraged me. Uh, Israeli military says it killed 90 gunmen in a raid in Gaza's largest hospital. The Israeli military claims that it killed 90 gunmen and arrested 160 others to uh, in an attack on Gaza's largest hospital where it claimed Hamas fighters were hiding, uh, which the terrorist group obviously have denied. Gaza City Al-Sharif Hospital, one of the few operational hospitals remaining the, uh, in the besieged enclave, where tens of thousands of Palestinians have taken shelter, was raided by IDF forces um, on Monday night, and we've not really heard anything since. So what are the IDF up to? Like I say, one could only assume now, war crimes. Uh, like I say, I don't have a problem with the Jewish people. I do not have a problem with uh, Israelis. Uh, I do have a problem with Hamas. I think they should be obliterated off the planet. I just have a problem with the way Netanyahu and the IDF are dealing with it. Um, thousands more have been jailed in the world's most criticised prison after El Salvador's legislated granted a request by President Naib uh, for the extension of an anti-gang emergency decree. 
Uh, Bouclet has used the emergency powers to round up 78,175 suspected gang members in sweeps that uh, rights group are say are often arbitrary based on the person's appearance or where they live. Now, if they're covered in tattoos from head to toe, saying you know we're in a gang, then I don't think you can argue with their appearance being a member of a gang. And these gangs are ruthless. So you take out the people who are doing the crimes and the other people in the gang will then take over from them and carry on doing the crimes. So I personally think that this is a way forward. Just line them all up, stick them all in a prison and uh, just let them rot. Um, but yeah, we have these do gooders say, no, no, we have to release them. Oh, human rights and all that nonsense. Um, no, some people do not deserve human rights. End of. Uh, an executive order issued by Nassau uh, County requires the Long Island Roller Rebels Roller Derby team to expel any members who were not assigned female at birth if they want to book country facilities or faculties if you're American. The team is fighting back with a lawsuit. So basically, this is the Long Island Roller Rebels Roller Derby team. Now, I don't know what Roller, de uh, roller Derby is, but looking at the picture... It basically looks like Rollerball from the 1970s on roller skates without the motorbikes. So this is people bashing into each other, um, trying to get, um, one would imagine, a spherical object into some uh, receptacle at one end of the pitch. Therefore using physical strength to do that. So I think it's perfectly in the rights of Nassau County um, to say to the Long Island Roller Rebels, because it's them who've been picked out, that uh, they've got to expel any members who were not assigned female at birth because they are basically men against women because they've only chosen them. So for once, well twice now, I'm actually with the, uh, the justice system in America. Oh, I need to lie down. Hi Matt. Uh, I am not long walk up. Hope you're keeping warm and dry. We are. Thank you. Hope you're well as well. Uh, greetings to Cornwall and everyone in Cornwall. Uh, now, this was a 22, uh, year, a 29-year-old biker, and he's been charged after a man was allegedly stabbed in the buttocks. Uh, but because he hasn't been charged or anything, they've disguised his identity by blurring out his head. Can I know and see the problem here? Yeah, that's right. He's got a massive tattoo on his back with 1% written on it in a diamond. I mean, you are not, <laughs> you are not hiding his identity. Um, what was the point of blurring his head out? It just, oh, we are going down this weird route at the minute. The gender thing has gone too far. It has, Lainey. It has, definitely. Uh, Malaysia will not host the 2026 Commonwealth Games. Uh, there's such a short time, we will definitely can't do it. Malaysia has rejected an offer to host the Commonwealth Games in 2026 with officials uh, attributing the time constraints, costs and the lack of funding to their final decision. The fresh blow comes just days after it was revealed that Victoria's decision to host and then abandon the Games had cost the state almost 600 million Australian dollars, which is about uh, 450 quid. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you're Australian, I do apologise. I do get a lot of Australians watching this, to be fair. I feel like I've just alienated them. But they're Australians, so who cares? <sighs> right, that brings us to the news that makes you go, hmm, 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 uh, ah, <laughs> and all points in between. Although initially it's like, ugh. Uh, basically, what I was talking about before, uh, uh, P uh, P Trump will let Putin do whatever the hell he wants. Um, I don't think he will. I don't. I know he's a bit, you know, but I don't think he's he's insane. Uh, world leading political expert has told uh, that daily uh, Donald Trump. Uh, picking up a victory in the 2024 US election could spell disaster for Ukraine, but wonderment for Vladimir Putin. Talking of whom, Putin could turn UK into a radioactive desert with a country-killing uh, Satan missile. Uh, Vladimir Putin could turn the UK into a radioactive desert by triggering 
a massive radioactive tsunami with the Saturn II missile, a military expert has warned. Now, I'm not a military expert. However, I'm pretty sure I could figure out if you dropped a massive nuclear bomb anywhere on the planet, it would make a, a rather large area around it a nuclear desert. I'm not sure about that because I'm not an expert. Uh, Neuralink, end of the world fears as quadriplegic plays chess with his mind. While many celebrated the admittedly impressive feat from Neuralink, others were concerned over how the technology might be used, with one person even saying it could fall into the wrong hands. So what does that mean? Everyone who's disabled suddenly becomes a Terminator. I don't think so. I think people are getting a bit too overexcited. Elusive Tribe would die in UK because they wouldn't know what a supermarket is. Um, <laughs> says an expert. No, it's not an expert. It's Google's Gemini AI. I mean, you've got to admit, they probably don't know what a supermarket is. Uh, but they probably would die if they came to the UK. But probably from the common cold or something else that they've never been encountered with. Um, or just the cold. I'm not an expert, again. But, you know. Big boys and their toys in reference to lovely Putin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we've already covered that one. Uh, the uh, using his mind. Uh, blokes are having Botox on their looks to make them look plumper and younger. The newest beauty obsession for men sounds quite painful, but Scrotox, where Botox is injected into the private area, and it has seen a boom where more men are looking to smooth their moles. Now, I, this is something I can talk about because I have balls. Um, I don't think, no matter what you do to them, I don't think you could ever describe uh, the male genitalia as a pretty looking thing or things. They are, <laughs> I don't, I mean, you know, if you want them tight and lovely, why don't you just wear iced clad underpants and freeze them. Botox bollocks. Yeah, exactly. What a load of bollocks. Oh, here we go. Piers Kamal, uh, Morgan. Um, speaking on a new documentary, uh, documentary. I said documentary then. That wasn't far off because it's uh, Piers Morgan we're talking about. Um, controversial talk TV presenter. Although he's not on at the minute. Piers Morgan raised about the infamous edited Mother's Day photo saying that the actual photograph of Katie herself is not what she looked like on the day the photograph was taken. A UK, a nation of unashamed farters, as Brits love to let one rip in pubic. Public. Uh, people from the North West are the most likely to let one rip while out with pals in public places uh, like the office, pubs, theatre and cinemas. Uh, not surprisingly, Men enjoy the guilty pleasure most. There's nothing better than a fart, but I don't, I don't, you know, if, if, if I'm in a public place and I can't get anywhere where I can let it rip, I try and do it quietly whilst, you know, polishing my uh, very, you know, taut um, other area. Um, Christ, how many balls have you got there, Lynn? Uh, Darbing wash me on a car can carry a two and a half thousand pound file fine, even if it's a friendly banter. Experts have warned experts that clean me or wash me on a dirty car with your finger could lead you in a heap of trouble and with a hefty sum to pay, even if it's intended as just harmless fun. How many times have you seen a um, well, a botoxed, scrotoxed pair on the on the back of a van? And how many times have you thought, oh no, oh, 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 I'll tell you what, we're getting, the police need to look at other things rather than someone writing something, not even obscene and, and muck. Epidemic fears of zombies overrunning UK towns and impending summer of death. The synthetic drug which started life as a painkiller is increasingly used, uh, is increasingly cut into UK's opioid street narcotic circulation 
in the face of the heroin market's ongoing supply chain issues. So basically, uh, this has been what's going on in America for a while now, and we've seen it before with spice and things like that. Uh, but this is even worse than spice. Um, they reckon it's going to uh, hit the UK high streets uh, very, very soon indeed, which is not a, a pleasant thought at all. Uh, Boris Johnson, 59, buys wife a ca uh, carry a baffling present for her 36th birthday. Uh, Carrie, uh, new, newly 36, took to Instagram to reveal that he bought her an egg incubator, presumably in the hope she can raise her own chicks as well as their children. Zombies are those people on spice and other crap they put into their bodies, yeah. Absolutely. Um... A flash ghost keeps trying to steal my Audi TT. We even caught it on CCTV. Laura and Darren Smith were looking for their car keys last Sunday when they checked their driveway's CCTV footage in case they'd been dropped outside. And what they saw was this terrifying image of a ghost trying to steal their car. Don't worry, I took the clickbait. There is the ghost trying to steal their car. This white figure believed to be a ghost lurking next to Lauren Darren's car on March the 10th. Ooh. Ooh. More genitalia stuff. Penis size lie blokes are guilty of and it's a huge turn off for women. According to multiple studies, uh, lads tend to exaggerate their penis size and it's not going down well with women. In fact, many females reckon it's a huge turn-off. I mean, I'm sorry, but why would you do that? I mean, I've got a good good eight inches. Uh, I don't need to exaggerate uh, anything. <laughs> no, to be fair, I'm the polar opposite. Uh, uh, my running joke is... Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> it's, it's three inches. Uh, it's an inch more than I was expecting. Or, uh, yeah, I would take my clothes off, but you need a microscope to see something. So I'm a complete opposite. But, yeah, yeah, people do lie about them. Of course they do. I mean, you're not, they're not, people are not going to say, go on then, prove it. Get it out. Um, Met Office says snow is coming within 24 hours as experts warn of Arctic winds. Now, I must admit, this was a couple of days ago, the wind has been very nippy. Um, and we did have a bit of hail, um, but we've not had uh, snow. So once again, the Met Office got a little bit overboard. Here's a question, because we've got a few people in the chat room. If you were to describe an alien, or how you would imagine an alien to look, how would you describe it? Uh, not like this. But apparently... Brits reckon the real E.T. would be two-headed and have web feet and green hair. <laughs> Why? Uh, Brits reckon that a real-life E.T. would be able to breathe in and out of water, have an oval head, and its skin would be camouflaged to blend in with their surroundings like chameleons. Now, I must admit, I do speak to lots of people. I don't think we've ever uh, discovered... Um, can't prove it. I don't think we could... Uh, you'll have to go on my OnlyFans page for that. Um, I, don't I don't know... Uh, I, don't, I've been, I don't think I've ever discussed what aliens would look like with anyone, but I'm pretty sure no one would ever come up with that monstrosity. That's what you do with it, says Lainey. Looks just like binding in a couple of years. Yeah, having a head transplant. So we can actually think of things. What are you doing, cat? Uh, we've got huge todgers. People mistake them for guns and suspicious packages. Uh, so this is uh, people who have actually got massive... I don't know why it's genitalia based today, but what can you do? Um, I mean, we were talking about women's problems last week, so... Uh, from the biggest todgers in Premier League history to the world's biggest penis causing havoc at airport security... 
These blokes' pieces have been mistaken for all sorts of inanimate objects. Sadly, because they're that big, that's all they are. Inanimate. Ha <laughs> ha! Those tinies have got one up on you. Not literally, just to clarify. Uh, people are only just discovering what skips are made of, and it's not potatoes. Now, <laughs> there's a lot of snacks that are not made of potatoes. I mean, a good example would be Wheatos. Hmm. I wonder what they're made of. Oh, yeah, wheat. Knickknacks. Hmm. They're not potato either. Um, quavers. They're not potato. Uh, there's loads of stuff that's not made of potatoes. So why has this made the news? Um... Yeah, they're actually made from seashells. That's why... No, they're not. Uh, increasingly co-computing, obsessed with new tech that could ruin the West. Uh, apparently, he's getting increasingly cocky. He's getting sexually excited then. He's getting increased cocky. Uh, Vladimir Putin... Oh, this, this has literally gone down the pan, hasn't it? Uh, <laughs> that didn't help, did it? Um, <laughs> Vladimir Putin is... Hoping artificial intelligence will serve as an answer to all his considerable problems, including small pe uh, war, including warfare, world domination, and moon bases. Must be German sausage, uh, tapioca starch, I think. Yep. Skips are made from prawns. That's right, they are. But no one said potato, so we're all good. Uh, right, so we've had snow warnings. Now we've got UK weather maps show 19 degrees scorch on the horizon despite the snow this weekend. Not snow. Uh, despite the cold temperature and even snow expected to come, uh, weather forecasters rate conditions in the UK will improve dramatically as we head into April. Whoopy whoopy. Get out your shorts, but not if you've got a big todger. Bet Putin's got a whopper. Uh, space tourists risk cancer due to cosmic radiation exposure, study says. Experts are urging space tourists to take caution as magnetic fields and cosmic radiation exposure at high altitudes, high altitudes may put them in an increased risk of cancer and DNA damage. And you're like, hmm, okay then. It's not something you hear of from astronauts or people who've been on the spacey stationy thing we don't hear many of them dying of cancer like sadly a lot of footballers uh from the 70s and 80s and 90s passing away from dementia uh not dementia dementia um due to heading the balls and everything uh, you don't really hear of people dying of cancer from being in space and let's be honest people have been going to space since the 1960s uh putin is terrified by constant shooting as russia is vulnerable to attack uh, a terrified Vladimir Putin is yet to comment on the horror Moscow massacre as experts say the terror attack is proof of his failure as world leader despite his election win. Now, I'm no fan of Putin, obviously, um, but you can't blame Putin necessarily for a terrorist attack. I mean, let's be honest, Russia is quite big. Uh, there's a lot going on in Russia, excluding the war. Uh, there's a lot going on. There's lots of towns and cities and villages. There's lots of theatres and stadia and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think you can really put the blame on Putin directly for that one. I thought the clocks went forward this Sunday, but there you go. Uh, bizarre smells that seriously turn on Brits from toxic tolls to frisky farts. It's all about toilet humour today, isn't it? Uh, the new eye-opening poll revealed the weird smells that Brits find a turn on, and there are some shocking scents which can burn the nostrils as well as in the loins. I didn't click on that clickbait because I'm like, I don't really want to know what people like smells that stinks. Cat's just walking around in circles at the minute. It's really weird. Uh, luckiest postman alive. He narrowly cheats death when a tree falls on a post box. The fortunate postie was doing his rounds in Ripon Road in Ronxwood, Worcestershire on Thursday uh, when the 40 foot high tree toppled over and missed him by inches. Good. I mean, it'd be postman flat if he'd been hit by it, but he wasn't, so it's all right. A comedy hypnotist who messed with people's minds stole a woman's passwords. 
Robert Temple had made a career out of claiming to be able to mess with people's minds. And while cops don't think the hypnosis was used for crime, some of his other stage show skills may have been. So, non-story story? Story? A heat wave weather will blast UK in April thanks to scorching African plume. A leading weather expert reckons heat wave conditions could be coming to the UK in just a few weeks' time thanks to hot air from Africa and pre um, uh, African air and pressure. I mean, talk of hot air. Now, we've all lost pets and been very upset by it. And some people, rather than just having the memories, want to have something more physical. And uh, I remember when the independent first come out and i used to buy the independent because i thought i was cool buying the independent and i just looked like an absolute but anyway um <laughs> by the independent and um there was a picture in the independent that i ended up sticking on my wall and it was this um beloved cat that had passed away this white cat and um the family for some reason decided to have the cat um stuffed taxidermy uh, just to remember and still be able to stroke it, you know, all that kind of thing. And it's, it's a lovely, not creepy thought. No, it's just creepy. Anyway, they, they send it off to the taxidermist and uh, a few weeks later they get the phone call to pick it up. And they get the cat back and the cat's like, it's on its front paws. It's like, well, with one eye looking that way, one eye looking that way, one ear like that, the other one like that. And it looked like it had been run over, which it hadn't been. That's not how I died. <laughs> And I find it highly amusing. And uh, this is the next funniest thing about memorials to pets gone wrong. So this is a dog that passed and the family wanted a lasting memory of the dog. Thankfully, not taxidermy. Uh, they ordered a cake replica of their dog. And, well... <laughs> it's... It looks like something that Satan would, would have uh, brought. I've saved stream for later. Watch from start. I'm going to mark my herbal smoke. Enjoy your evening. Bye. Goodbye, Matt. Sleep well. Stay warm. Eating chocolate before bed could help you sleep better, experts claim. Although eating too close to bedtime is a big no-no, some foods might actually help you get a better night's kip, according to some sleep experts. Um, yeah, it's to do with uh, us being sensually stimulated by pleasure of eating the chocolates. Uh, we're all in the same boat. It's a bank, say, we've not had one for a while. Uh, well, we did, we had that massive one last week, didn't we? But uh, yeah, that's a cute bank, say, I like that. Uh, Kate Middleton found cancer announcement difficult, uh, says a body language expert. I mean, for fuck's sake, she's not, She's not very confident at public speaking. She's just been diagnosed with cancer. She's had to tell her kids she's got cancer. She's had to deal with cancer treatment. She's seen uh, the king get cancer. Possibly members of her family pass away from cancer. So she's absolutely shitting herself. And a body expert says she looked uncomfortable during the announcement to the entire planet that she's been diagnosed with cancer. Of course she's fucking... Um, finding it difficult. I'd be more concerned if she went, Hi guys, peace. Just let you know, uh, big dinos with cancer. Um, but you know, it's not a big A. That would be more disturbing. I think the way she did it was dignified um, and yeah, much respect for her. No respect for the expert that was involved in this. Uh, Stag do organisers slam Amsterdam's latest attempt to keep Brit lads away. Um, the Amsterdam has been the uh, party capital of Europe, uh, but uh, the Amsterdam um, council and uh, politicians uh, want to make Amsterdam a nicer place to be. So they're trying to get rid of all the Brits going there just to get drunk and uh, smoke the weed, which... It's baffling because what else would people go for? I mean, I've never been to Amsterdam. I've never go to Amsterdam. I never did. I wouldn't do any of that stuff. But that's why people go there. It's like saying, yeah, we don't like all these people shouting and screaming at football matches. So what we'll do is we'll still play the football matches, but we won't let anyone come and watch. We'll see how long they, before they go bust. 
A mystery as great white shark found decapitated by horrified beachgoer. Now what a beachgoer is doing decapitating a uh, great white shark, I have no idea. Uh, authorities are appealing to the public following the discovery of a great white shark with its head removed. Uh, the whereabouts of the beast's head remain a mystery. We'll have a word with the uh, decapitating uh, beach goer, I would have said. Just saying. Uh, turning corpses into black gold and breaking bones may help save the planet. A compost solution for the dead may be more environmentally friendly than traditional burial routes, with companies in the United States saying black gold burials are better long term but not for the families of the people who need somewhere to go to. And plus, I mean, we're, yeah, we're all made from stuff from the planet and it all goes back to the planet when we snuff it um, by whichever way our bodies are, are decomposed or uh, cremated or whatever. But uh, turn them into compost. Can you imagine going to uh, B&Q and buying a, a bag of human compost for your roses? No, you're all right. Uh, most haunted sites in New York, including a John Lennon ghost, a cursed flat and a death house. Uh, who are you going to call? The Ghostbusters. Yeah, they were on tonight. Um, it's, um, <laughs> it's, yeah, ghosts don't exist. Ghostbusters is a bit of fun. Uh, the original film was the best, although I've never seen any of the other ones, but people tell me. Um, I do watch The Last Leg and the interview the cast of the new Ghostbusters movie included the young guy out of Stranger Things. I think I recognised him as. I don't know who he is. But one of the guys out of Stranger Things. And um, it was... Um, uh, bleh, what's he called? Uh, well, I think the tulip's so colourful. I watched the woman on TV who travels... There, Susan Kelman. I love Susan Kelman. Her travel shows. I think she's brilliant. She's very enthusiastic for everything, and she eventually has a go at everything as well. Uh, we can't like. We can't. Kind of like her. Quine like her. Quine like her. Can like her. Uh, Alex Brooker uh, from the last leg. Anyway, uh, he goes and does this interview. And they're in this hotel room, and he goes in dressed in the full costume of Ghostbusters and spends his entire time, uh, pretty much auditioning to be in the next Ghostbusters movie, which I thought was very funny. Very relaxing, yeah, we know what you mean by relaxing, don't we, Lenny? Not that you would partake, obviously, but it's just in the air, isn't it? You can't avoid it. Uh, tattooed Gran flaunts £25,000 ink collection by stripping to tiny bikini. Um, I don't understand why people do that. I interviewed uh, for Wigan Watch um, a couple of days ago. Uh, a guy who lives in Wigan, who's a drummer for a band, has been playing at... Uh, various festivals including download uh you know quite successful a model and everything else but i just don't get tattoos uh it, it, i just i just don't get i don't think any tattoos look good on people uh but to be fair if she's a grandma she looks pretty good but yeah no not for me um a boy nine emotionless after killing 11 rabbits and guinea pigs in a zoo a massacre a nine-year-old boy walked into the Rekout petting zoo and carried out the disturbing massacre in the Netherlands. And staff, the staff said he looked unbothered after the attack. So um, a mass murderer, a mass petting animal, um, an animal mass murderer, nine-year-old boy. I'm sure we know emotion, but he's from the Netherlands. They don't show emotions from the Netherlands. It's not quite as bad as the Finnish, but uh, yeah, they are, they are up there. A future AI will be like the Borg in Star Trek as collective AI emerges. Artificial intelligence could one day resemble the Borg from the sci-fi franchise Star Trek in a phenomenon known as collective AI emerges. Uh, World-leading boffins have now warned. So basically, yeah, this guy who's uh, the quadriplegic could end up walking and talking and everything because he's part robot. I must admit the Borg for me are the best um, aliens in Star Trek and possibly in any anything ever. Uh, I just think they're, they're fantastic. I just love everything about the Borg. I think they're brilliant. 
A man abducted by aliens for sex experiments say sperm used to create E.T. kids. A man claims he was abducted by aliens as a teenager and thinks a decade from now he could meet his hybrid children after he reported was subjected to sexual experiments. I'm sorry, but you're all thinking it. I don't think he's had a sexual experiment in his life. Uh, Kate Middleton pictured for the first time since surgery on a shopping trip with Wills. These are out of order as well. What has gone on with the ordering today? I don't know. Um, but that isn't the picture. Because <laughs> the sun had it, no one else was likely to use it. EasyJet take over airport wall with icons from Ozzy Osbourne to 11-year-old boy. Uh, the mural made by graffiti artist Gent48. Uh, honours local heroes and features Birmingham's famous Curry Mile. It also nods to the city's history making things and its lively arts scene. Um, so it's uh, a wall in uh, an airport. I, I imagine Birmingham Airport. I'm not an expert on these things. Uh, MH370 wreckage hunt given fresh hope as expert claims he has the tech required. The MH370 uh, which vanished um, 10 years ago, may be found using a new super tool developed by a company who previously tried and failed to locate the missing plane with seabed surfing drones capable of finding the Boeing 777. Uh, I've got a reel there, but I don't know what the reel is for because there's a, a massive delay. Uh, World War Three fears as China accuses the US of spreading rumours over Trump spy op. Uh, China's foreign ministry spokesman Wang Weibin slammed the claims that the US launched a social media spy operation at behest of the former president Donald Trump. Oh, better out than in. Um, I'm from the northwest and a bloke. I enjoyed that. There might have been a bit of follow through, but we'll be all right. <laughs> Jesus, what have I been eating? I was born with two vaginas and used one for each boyfriend. It's not cheating. Uh, she was diagnosed with uterus delephilis when she went to get her contraception car fitted at 16. The condition means she was born with two uteruses and cervixes. So she's got two boyfriends. One has the left one, the other one has the right one. Well, the front and back. I mean, you know, we've gone, we've gone down a rabbit warren here anyway, but let's just keep going. Unseasonal snow blasts coming later this week as UK weather maps show 12 centimetres of snow. <sighs> yeah, more fear mongering. Just what we need. Uh, Britain's Royal Mint released its newest series of commemorative coins celebrating the Star Wars franchise. The Millennium Falcon coins are the first in the four new coin series dedicated to the franchise's iconic starships. Um, why? That's my question. Oh, the guy was kidnapped by aliens. Yeah, exactly. Um, Prince. <laughs> See, we find it hilarious. Uh, Britain's Royal Mint. Uh, yeah, why, why, why Star Wars? I, I, it's, I know it, a lot of it was filmed in the UK, but it's predominantly American. It was written by an American. It was done by an American company. Uh, most of the actors are American apart from Darth Vader, but they dubbed his voice with an Americans. Why didn't they do Harry Potter or, I don't know, Clockwork Orange? That would have made more sense. <laughs> Maybe not Clockwork Orange. It's the first film that came into my head. Yeah, don't do, a, don't do a coin dedicated to the Clockwork Orange. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Is that you, Silence? A zombie mice over on small remote island and eat birds alive in horror scene. <laughs> oh, zombie mice. <laughs> Sorry. A remote island overrun with vicious zombie mice who eat local birds alive is now fighting back with plans to drop a staggering 550 tons metric. Uh, of poison on the rodents now I think you could squash one of them with a kilogram uh, amount of poison you don't have to drop 550 tons of poison and you don't even have to be poisoned just a heavy weight and just drop it on it 
and yep, dead. But of course, it, you can't kill. You can't. It's zombie. You can't kill the undead. You can only undead the undead and then dead them again. So they're going about it the wrong way. Talking of which, one of a kind. Thank for that. Heads of the Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip go up for sale. 12 foot statues of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip that originally made to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee have gone up for sale on Facebook Marketplace for 200 quid. 2,000 quid. I wouldn't even pay 20 quid for them. They are horrific beyond horrific. I'm getting serious now. I'm sorry. My ex-wife passed away, so I went to the cemetery to honour her. I bought a 20-year-old bottle of fine scotch and poured it over a grave. But first, I filtered it through my kidneys. I thank you. Although I didn't write that. But uh, it did tickle me. did make me laugh. And of course, we've been talking about some balls all day, so we might as well have a piss thrown in there for the sake of it. And penultimately, you'd be pleased to hear, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron has caused a stir with a photo of him boxing. Uh, not to be outdone, Tory MPs from the 1922 committee were also photographed standing around a punch bag. And there's a picture there of the 1922 committee stood around Rishi Sunak. I mean, have I got news for you, genius? I can't wait for the new series to start. They seem to be missing out on a lot of decent new stuff that they could uh, work with. Harry surprises Meghan with UK move plans as William tells him to come home. Uh, Prince Harry has allegedly made plans for a shock return to the UK with Meghan Markle stunned by the Duke's possible return home and Prince William asking his brother to return. Says an expert, so it's probably absolute BS. But, you know, that's what goes on in it. Uh, breaking news is the next and final section. So this is where I look at the news that has gone on whilst the news has been going on and I've been talking about the news. So this is the news that's occurred whilst I've been talking about the news. Ergo, the news that's been breaking. Um, so here we go then. Part of billionaire's family property empire named on London's rogue landlord list. Whoa, bad landlords. Britain's King Charles, frustrated by pace of cancer recovery. <laughs> I mean, of all the people on the planet who should be patient, how long did he wait to become king? I mean, you know, you don't get over cancer after about 30 seconds, sadly. Um, Max Verstappen rages, teal like this, uh, Max Verstappen rages as Red Bull car catches fire and forces shock retirement from Aust Australian Grand Prix. Uh, yeah, of course he's upset. And uh, it wasn't the car that caught fire, it was the brakes that caught fire, which is a weird one, really, because it's not really a high brake um, track. But anyway, yeah. Um, there's an obituary to Stephen Cox. Uh, Met Office issues warning for snow with heavy rain also expected. I'll go with the heavy rain. Um, Gale own, Gale's owners uh, bake plan for sale at a rapid growth. So that's a chain of uh, eateries that's looking to sell on because they're probably going to go bust soon if they don't. Uh, how to prepare for the clocks going forward and losing an hour of sleep? Well, there's two things you can do. One is I'm an hour's lying, which basically means you go up at the same time. Or alternatively, go to bed an hour early. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, Monsco Concert Hall accused of locking emergency exits before the terror attack. Uh, Kim Kardashian under pressure to apologise for Kate Middleton joke because many people took the mickey out of Kate Middleton. Um, but we don't know what's going on. I don't think you should really apologise. It's if you do it after we know what's going on that the problem should arise. Um... Simon Harris set to become the youngest ever uh, Prime Minister of Ireland after being named in Fino Gael later. Brits keep their homes colder than anyone else across Europe, research shows. <coughs> Better out than him. It's not as funny as a fart though, is it? 
Oh, historic moment as two Russian ships destroyed by Ukraine. Well done, Ukraine. Um, uh, transformative plans outside Rochdale railway station to take major step forward. Now, uh, Rochdale I've been to and filmed a few times, but it looks like they're doing some major redevelopment there. They're probably going to knock everything down and build a load of you know, apartments, a cinema and a in bowling alley. Worked in Wigan. Uh, <laughs> uh, GB News is winning the fight for the right-leaning audience, but at what cost? I, I find GB News really annoying. I prefer Talk TV, but I do find Talk TV really annoying because they are so up uh, Netanyahu's arse, they can actually, you can actually see them looking out of his mouth. GB News is worse, though. Um, Northern Lights could be visible over parts of the UK tonight. The world's most remote island opens up to tourists, uh, but in and it no longer takes five nights to get there. We don't tell you where it is, so it'll take you longer than that. Health warning issued for holiday hotspots as infected tourists return to the UK with serious diseases. Ew. Um, that's a Bradford Plus one, I don't care. A uh, man turned boredom at home into plan to save the high street. Uh, the question is being asked, what is preventative chemotherapy and how effective is it? So well, hopefully very. Building the M62, the missing four junctions, the form in the middle and uh, go steady warning. Now, if you've ever driven on the M62 in the UK, um, it's a motorway that connects Liverpool with Hull. Uh, which is basically from the uh, west coast to the east coast or the east coast to the west coast depending on which way you're traveling it was built in the 1960s and there's a farmhouse uh, that the motorway literally goes round you've seen those ones in uh, china where they've built these massive freeway things and, and motorways and all that and there's there's a house just dotted in the middle and the the, the road kind of goes round it well it's a similar kind of thing um but everyone thinks that the farm owner at the time refused to sell this farm to have it demolished. But the fact of the matter is, it was cheaper to go around the farm than it was to have the two lanes running together because there's a natural dip within the side of the hill. Um, so it made more sense to do what they did. And it had nothing to do with the farm owner. In fact, if anything, I think the farm owner wanted to get out of there, but he couldn't do because they didn't, want it, they didn't need to buy it. So there you go. Um... Warnings are issued over extremely busy A&E departments at uh, several Greater Manchester hospitals. I do ambulance watch uh, regularly when I drive past. Oh, I've got a sticky bum. Uh, not because of what happened earlier. I'm sweaty. Um, <laughs> my legs have stuck to the chair. It's getting warmer, isn't it? Uh, 18th anniversary of Great Escape from Nazi Germany prison war camp marked in Poland. Uh, most expensive supermarket as Aldi price matched almost everything in our shopping. Um, so one imagines uh, the most expensive supermarket would be Waitrose uh, and they're now price matching Aldi. So they're obviously losing a lot of uh, support. Uh, British Airways informs passengers of food and drinks price hike mid-flight. That'd be annoying, wouldn't it? Uh, and uh, food recall warnings issued for Aldi, Asda and Sainsbury's. Uh, I didn't tell you what. So if you bought any food from any of them places, don't eat it. Too late, I've eaten all mine. Uh, pathetic Man City fans rage at the title race chaos involving Liverpool and uh, Arsenal. Oi! Oi! Um, Uh, Stockport Hatworks Museum up reopens after a hundred thousand pound refurbishment. Uh, Putin will be ruthless after the Moscow attack, but Russians don't trust him to keep them safe anymore. Yeah, understandably. Uh, I've got the right chair again. So I think that's it. Oh. Uh, UK to look at sanctions over Chinese interference with a democratic process. Ooh. Uh, 
one of four B network buses were late last week, and that's an improvement. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Um, so yeah, there you go then. So that is it. So let's have a look at some stats, shall we? We like stats. I've been on for two hours and five minutes. Two hours and five minutes. Uh, most views we've had at any one time is 11. Uh, a couple of times, fairly recently as well. It did drop off uh, a while ago down to five. Uh, we've currently got eight. We've got six likes, so if you haven't liked, please like. Uh, if you don't like, you don't have to like. You can dislike if you want, I don't mind. Um, so average view duration is 17 minutes and 28 seconds. We've had 55 views. Uh, no one's talking at the minute, so our chat rate is zero. Uh, big shout out to Stephen LFC, uh, Kelly, and Rollo. 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 Uh, Angela O'Kane. Um, uh, no, Steve, I've already done. Kelly Buxton. Uh, Michael Bates. Um, His Majesty Council Gritter. Wow. Well, I don't know. Sean J. Not so much Sean J, to be fair. Uh, GP. Uh, Kim Braid. Uh, Matt Frances. That's been quite chatty, to be fair. Uh, um, did um, did um. I think that's it though. Have we got everyone? Yep, yeah, we've got everyone. So yeah, there you go then. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, my uh, look at the news. Don't forget we do this every week, uh, just after nine uh, on a Sunday. Uh, you can listen to it as a podcast as well. Um, and you can also obviously watch it back. If you have watched it back or you listen to it as a podcast, then feel free to um, say hi uh, in the uh, com comments section because that's what comment sections are there for, for you to comment. Um, and I will see you all uh, again next time. A big shout out to T as well. Hope you're good. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you. Till next time. Oh, Laney, sorry. Laney, 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 Laney. Laney. Lenny, 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 he's a Lenny then, Lenny, uh, yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm alright now, I'm all Brit. uh, yeah, so, uh, I'll be seeing you, look after yourself, stay safe, uh, and I'll see you all again, uh, I'll be well next week, until then, bye. Mm -hmm.